everybody and welcome back to another ASMR video here on the channel. Now today what we've got for you is another ASMR history video. Previously with these history videos we've covered, I think pretty much all of them have been on wars or conflicts and you know that's to be expected, they're what we study in school and they tend to be the most Anything to do with conflict tend to be the most interesting topics, but today we're taking a slightly different, uh, a different approach and a look at a very different event. We're looking at a bit of history, which is a natural disaster, and of course, as you can tell by the title, it is the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. So yeah, I. Uh, I think after this I'm gonna try and have a little bit of a research into other like interesting c c catastrophic natural disasters that have happened throughout history. If you have any suggestions for them, uh, feel free to comment them down below, of course. And uh, yeah, and aside from natural disasters, if you have any suggestions of historical events, they could be wars, they can be very specific events. It might be a music event, a sporting event, anything that you'd like to see covered then. Feel free to comment it down below, but I reckon we should now get into the history of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii. So, we'll begin with a little introduction. So, Mount Vesuvius, a volcano near the Bay of Naples in Italy, has erupted more than 50 times. Its most famous eruption, however, took place in the year 79 AD when the volcano buried the ancient Roman city of Bombay under a thick carpet of volcanic ash. The dust poured across the land like a flood. One witness wrote and shrouded the city in a darkness like the black of closed and unlighted rooms. Two thousand people died and the city was abandoned for almost as many years. When a group of explorers rediscovered the site in 1748, they were surprised to find that underneath a thick layer of dust and debris, Bombay was mostly intact. The building's artifacts and skeletons left behind in the buried city have taught us a great deal about everyday life in the ancient world. This next section is titled Life in Bombay. Greek settlers made the down part of the Hellenistic sphere in the 8th century BC, an independently minded town. Bombay fell under the influence of Rome in the 2nd century BC, and eventually the Bay of Naples became an attraction for wealthy vacationers from Rome who relished the Campania coastline. By the turn of the 1st century AD, the town of Bombay, located about five miles from the mountain, was a flourishing resort for Rome's most distinguished citizens. Elegant houses and elaborate villas lined the paved streets. Tourists, townspeople and slaves bustled in and out of small factories and artisan shops, taverns and cafes, and brothels and bathhouses. People gathered in the 20,000 seat arena and lounged in the open air squares and marketplaces. On the eve of that fateful eruption in 79 AD, scholars estimate that there were about 12,000 people living in Bombay and almost as many in the surrounding region. So now an introduction to Mount Vesuvius itself. The Vesuvius volcano did not form overnight, of course. Vesuvius volcano is part of the Campanian volcanic arc that stretches along the convergence of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates on the Itali Italian peninsula and had been erupting for thousands of years. In about 1780 BC, for example, an unusually violent eruption shot millions of tons of superheated lava, ash and rocks about 22 miles into the sky. The pre that prehistoric catastrophe destroyed almost every village, house and farm within 15 miles of the mountain. Villagers 
villagers around the volcano had long learned to live with their volatile environment, even after a massive earthquake struck the Campania region in 63 AD. People still flocked to the shores of the Bay of Naples. Pompeii grew more crowded every year. So that leads us into specifically 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupts. So, on August 24th, after centuries of dormancy, Mount Vesuvius erupts in southern Italy, devastating the prosperous Roman cities of Pompeii and Hercul Herculaneum, Herculaneum, there we go, killing thousands. The cities buried under a thick layer of volcanic material and mud were never rebuilt and largely forgotten in the course of history. In the 18th century, Bombay and Herculaneum were rediscovered and excavated, providing an unprecedented archaeological record of the everyday life of an ancient civilization, startlingly preserved in sudden death. So, the ancient cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum thrived near the base of Mount Vesuvius at the Bay of Naples. In the time of the early Roman Empire, 20,000 people lived in Pompeii, including merchants, manufacturers, farmers. None suspected that the black fertile earth was the legacy of earlier eruptions of Mount Vesuvius. Herculaneum was a city of 5,000 and a favourite summer destination for rich Romans. Named for the mythic hero Hercules, Herculaneum housed opulent villas and grand Roman baths. Gambling artefacts found in Herculaneum and a brothel unearthed in Pompeii attest to the decadent nature of the cities. There were smaller resort communities in the area as well, such as the quiet little town of Stabae. Stabe. At noon on August 24th, 79 AD, this pleasure and prosperity came to an end when the peak of Mount Vesuvius exploded, propelling a 10-mile mushroom cloud of ash and pumice, pumice into the stratosphere. For the next 12 hours, volcanic ash and a hail of pumice stones up to 3 inches in diameter showered Pompeii forcing the city's occupants to flee in terror. Some 2,000 people stayed in Pompeii, holed up in cellars or stone structures, hoping to wait out the eruption. A westerly wind protected Herculaneum from the initial stage of the eruption, but then a giant cloud of hot ash and gas surged down the western flank of Vesuvius, engulfing the city and burning or asphyxiating all who remained. This lethal cloud was followed by a flood of volcanic mud and rock burying the city. The people who remained in Pompeii were killed on the morning of August 25th when a cloud of toxic gas poured into the city, suffocating everyone who remained. A flow of rock and ash followed, collapsing roofs and walls and burying the dead. Much of what we know about the eruption comes from an account by Pliny the Younger, who was staying west along the Bay of Naples when Vesuvius exploded. In two letters to the historian Tacitus, he, I apologise for pronunciation by the way, he told of how people covered their heads with billows, the only defence against a shower of stones and of how a dark and horrible cloud charged with combustible matter suddenly broke and set forth. Some bewailed their own fate, others prayed to die. Pliny, who was only seventeen at the time, escaped the catastrophe and later became a noted Roman writer and administrator. His uncle, Pliny the Elder, was less lucky. Pliny the Elder, a celebrated naturalist, at the time of the eruption was the commander of the Roman fleet in the Bay of Naples. After Vesuvius exploded, he took his boats across the bay to Stabae, 
to investigate the eruption and reassure terrified citizens. After going ashore, he was overcome by toxic gas and died. According to Pliny the Younger's account, the eruption lasted 18 hours. Pompeii was buried under 14 to 17 feet of ash and pumice, and the nearby sea coast was drastically changed. Herculaneum was buried under more than 60 feet of mud and volcanic material. Some residents of Pompeii later returned to dig out their destroyed homes and salvage their valuables, but many treasures were lost and then forgotten. Archaeologists have long debated whether the mountain actually erupted on August 24th. Some have pointed to autumnal fruits discovered in the ruins as a sign that the date is too early. An inscription uncovered in 2018 also suggests the eruption could have taken place two months later in mid-October. In the 18th century, a well digger unearthed a marble statue on the site of Herculaneum. The local government excavated some other valuable art objects, but the project was abandoned. In 1748, a farmer found traces of Bombay beneath his vineyard. Since then, excavations have gone on nearly without interruption until the present day. In 1927, the Italian government resumed the excavation of Herculaneum, retrieving numerous art treasures, including bronze and marble statues and paintings. The remains of 2,000 men, women and children were found at Pompeii. After perishing from asphyxiation, their bodies were covered with ash that hardened and preserved the outline of their bodies. Later, their bodies decomposed to skeletal remains, leaving a kind of plaster mould behind. Archaeologists who found these moulds filled the hollows with plaster, revealing in grim detail the death bows of the victims of Vesuvius. The rest of the city is likewise frozen in time and ordinary objects that tell the story of everyday life in Pompeii are as valuable to archaeologists as the great unearthed statues and frescoes. It was not until 1982 that the first human remains were found at Herculaneum, and these hundreds of skeletons bear ghastly burn marks that testifies to their horrifying deaths. Today, Mount Vesuvius is the only active volcano on the European mainland. Its last eruption was in 1944, and its last major eruption was in 1631. Another eruption is expected in the near future, which could be devastating for the 700,000 people who live in the death zones around Vesuvius. Now, the fact that it says one is expected soon is kind of scary because <laughs> um, I'd planned to do this video before we'd actually done this, but last week me and my girlfriend have booked a summer, like a week holiday in Naples and we're going to go and visit Bombay and Vesuvius. So, you know, not that it's something particularly to joke about, but it would just be my luck that it goes off while I'm there, but uh, no near, near future could mean any time, surely, please. Um, yeah, but uh, certainly a super interesting and a super tragic topic. I, uh, I thought this video was going to be a little bit longer, so apologies that it's on the shorter side. I'll be sure to make, uh, I'll be sure to make Monday's video just a little bit longer for you all. Yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this history of Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius. Like I said in the intro, if you are able, if you're too tired or you're resting, then don't worry about commenting. But if you have any burning topics,
topics and events that you'd like to see covered then feel free to comment them down below but that is going to do it for this video so thank you everyone so much for watching please do 